Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Dzień dobry. Hello, Maximilian. Uh, my name is Remigiusz Lewicki. I'm uh, part of the committee together with me, Michał Stępniewski and Adam Szczepanik. Uh, uh, we are happy to have you today. Congratulations on being with us today and uh, qualifying to the stage. And as you know, uh, you will have five minutes for your presentation and then we will have some questions uh, uh, for the rest of the time. We will have uh, around 15 minutes altogether. Okay, so, so, so yours, please. Hello, once again, my name is uh, Max. I am 18 years old and I attend first high school in Tarnow. Next year, I've got my final exams and later I want to study space and aerial technologies either in Warsaw or Gdańsk. I've got many passions, but mainly I am interested in astronomics, uh, science, uh, space, in traveling and in chess. But uh, not only is chess my passion, but also it is uh, a way to uh, learn responsibility and uh, make money because I have been giving uh, chess lessons for unexperienced players for almost a whole year now. And I think earning uh, own money while being young is extremely important because firstly, uh, it allows me uh, to be a bit independent from my parents. And uh, secondly, I uh, can afford uh, de developing my skills and passions. For example, I uh, bought a telescope, which allowed me to uh, conduct space uh, observation and sky photography. And this is hard to describe even uh, to see uh, planets like Jupiter or Saturn with your own eyes, and I really lost it. Furthermore, uh, to and then I develop my skills. I also attend uh, online weekend lectures, mainly provided by Jagiellonian University uh, from a uh, variety of subjects. Uh, for instance, maps, science, uh, computer science, uh, physics, but also a team management program. And uh, they allowed me to be quite successful in many competitions. And I think my biggest achievements were third place in uh, lesser Poland uh, chemistry contest in eighth grade, uh, but also uh, scoring maximum points on kangaroo mat mat mathematical context, uh, contest, for example, or uh, taking uh, fifth place in uh, Mathemax in Poland contest. I applied for this scholarship for uh, numerous of reasons. Uh, mainly, uh, I think it can uh, give me a great insight into how work and life in Silicon Valley looks in real life. Also, I saw that uh, part of the program is uh, visiting NASA facility in Silicon Valley and it directly connects with my plans for future. Uh, and I think meeting maybe so uh, someone or uh, hearing some advices can be really uh, helpful helpful on my career path in future also important aspects about also important aspects about silicon valley is for me is that this was a headquarter of tesla so it was uh, it is elon musk's company and he's my big idol and i admire him uh, mainly because he is never giving up and all of his achievements, especially in uh, space exploration, like, like uh, from his company Space, uh, SpaceX, are incredible. And uh, he is somehow a hero for me. But I think uh, it's not good to uh, blindly follow people like this, uh, because you can't invent anything new or uh, be su successful as them only by blindly following them. But uh, also you have to combine their experience with your own experience and with your ideas. And I think this is a key to success. And also I want to uh, finish with a small quote from uh, Roosevelt. And the quote is... Mm, Wait a second, okay. Today is the oldest you've ever been and the youngest you'll ever be again. And I think this is really important quote. 
because it's true and we should fully use our life because we will never be younger than now but we have we have the most experience now and we won't have like we have it more than it used to be and thank you and i am looking forward to hearing your questions now Thank you, Maximilian. Uh, Michał, if I can ask you for a yeah. question. Oh, hi. Uh, my name is Michał, and I have the first question from the, your uh, letter that you wrote in the letter that you have some of the experience from the exhibition in the China and the USA. Can you explain me uh, what kind of the exhibition there was about which you are writing in this letter? Okay, so I uh, took part in few expos with my parents, with their company. Uh, yeah, they were... Uh, two in China, in Shanghai and in Hong Kong, and one in Chicago, in the United States. And uh, this was Printing and Packaging Expo, because this is a branch uh, connected with my parents. And uh, yeah, this was mainly about uh, technologies used in printing and packaging, and how are they changing, because it used to be mostly uh, stretch foils, but now we need uh, new technologies in modern times, especially more ecological. And okay. Yeah. But also in the same in the same uh, document, you are writing about uh, your journey for a future to write in the new technology. What you are saying yeah. now. But do you feel, can you imagine and do you think is it possible to work and to, to, to in the new technology in the future, but being in Poland? So, so staying in Poland and in the Polish company, what do, how, how do you think about this? I think it's extremely hard, uh, even from experience of my friend who is now a professor. Uh, he said it's really hard because we have really uh, poor uh, research background and only in biggest cities like Warsaw or Gdańsk it's possible. Uh, yeah, but for now it's hard, but I think if uh, we try to do our best and maybe gain some uh, money for it from uh, cooperation with other countries, it is possible even here to create new technologies. Okay, and the last question. Are we interested in the sport? Some of the sports? Uh, yeah, but uh, like I said, uh, uh, I like chess, I like uh, fo American football, I, I don't like, let's say, casual sports, only this. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so I don't have more questions. Thank you very much. Thank you, Max. Thank you. Adam, can I ask for questions? Yeah. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, hello, Max. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. For <laughs> nice haircut, I, I must say. Uh, so, I would like to know, um, tell me, uh, having such a broad uh, horizons of interests, describe uh, what your dream uh, job would be. My dream job would be working in uh, either some space agency, like, for example, the European Space Agency, or in private company that is connected with uh, space exploration. Uh, so... SpaceX or other uh, creating uh, satellites or uh, rockets. Uh, so, yeah, mainly abroad uh, companies connected with space exploration. Mm -hmm. Tell me, um, what do you consider um, to be the pot potentially greatest benefit of this scholarship for you? I think I can get a great insight into uh, work of people in Silicon Valley and like I said I can uh, get inspired by them and use their experience to uh, like uh, better plan my future uh, path and uh, how can I say this and like uh, maybe use some of their ideas but upgrade them and make something better so getting insight maybe get inspired and meet some people, maybe get some advices. Uh -huh. And if you became a scholar, uh, scholarship member, would you? Would it be um, this uh, Silicon Valley, it'd be more uh, a trip or something else? No, it would be like, I can't consider it just as a trip because it's not. It's like uh, learning, understanding uh, culture, 
people there. So uh, getting experience and learning, I would uh, call more than just a trip. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Uh, Maximilian, I wanted to ask you about your biggest challenge, if you would uh, think of you know biggest challenge you had in the past and how you so, overcome this. Yeah, I think my biggest challenge was a uh, challenge described in essay, I think. So when I was in eighth grade, I uh, wanted to take part in chemistry contest. And I went to my teacher and asked for it. But she said uh, that I know too little about the subject and it's impossible. Uh, but anyway, I mm, went to my headmaster in school and asked him, and he allowed me to take part in it. And I had to learn everything by myself, also while being in the United States in the meantime, in uh, on this uh, Chicago Expo. But uh, I managed to do it, and I advanced to second stage and then to final. And uh, finally, I had third place, but I was a uh, winner because I got all the prizes anyway, because yeah, there were five or six winners. It's very impressive. Have you tried to repeat this with, you know, other, t other subjects, other topics uh, like that? I mean, it's very extreme, I would say. Kind like, of. I think I uh, all the time try to repeat this. Uh, I mean, if someone says to me that something is impossible, I... I really don't consider anything as impossible because I think with uh, a lot of effort and hard work, uh, I can manage to do quite everything. So I really don't count uh, usually on help from people that don't believe me, uh, in me. I just do my job and try uh, to do what I can to achieve my dreams and success. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Maximilian. Conscious of time, I would suggest to uh, to finalize with feedback. So starting with Michal, short feedback to Maximilian, please. Uh, Michal, we, we don't hear you, sorry. Uh, sorry, Maximilian. Thank you for the presentation. I asked him one of the, my questions was about the imagination of working in Poland. And more or less you say that it's, you know, more or easier, more easier to work if you are in the Kraków or Warszawa or Gdańsk, you are from Tarnów. I would like to say that I know very, a lot of very clever people from Tarnów, a lot of. And maybe you don't know that, but the, one of the most important guy in the UI on the world, so the brilliant sponsor of this uh, activities the, 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 for the trip for the Silicon Valley, uh, our sponsor, the president of the UI Poland, uh, it's also from the time. <laughs> and uh, it's, uh, I think that he is one of the most clever guy uh, who I know. And uh, you are the another one, clever guy from Tarnuf. And I think that the Tarnuf is a good place for the Thailand, uh, for the talents, and uh, for, for for the very clever people, and improving the the, the career. And I wish you uh, all the best, and maybe see you in future. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, Adam, from your side. Okay. Um, after reading your, your essay, uh, I'm convinced that you can teach all of us uh, how to extend the day to 48 hours. Uh, I, I like your enthusiasm, your bravery, uh, your stubbornness in achieving your goals. Uh, I think you could positively uh, um, other scholarship uh, beneficence could be positively surprised by such a wide range of interest and activities. I wish you all the best and uh, your path is your path is good. Uh, many, many thanks for your presentation. Thank you. Mr. Midian, I, I like your, your confidence and uh, the way you speak about this. It's uh, very coming really from, from your bones. It's very honest and uh, and also impressed by, by your achievements. So uh, um, we have to finalize at this, uh, this moment. Thank you very much once, once more and uh, fingers crossed. Thank you. Thank you, bye.